Hey, good afternoon. I'm a little bit late. Sorry about that. I was on my way home from some friends this had lunch with this morning so so let me just find you on my laptop and be with me while I do that <laughs> okay I think I found you yes so I hope everyone's well today hi Lynn sorry I'm a bit late <laughs> um this way it is when you try to squeeze too many things into one day. <laughs> I hope everybody's well and happy. Um, I am because it's Friday <laughs> and I didn't have to go to work today. So I'm very happy. <laughs> um, now I've got a new kit I want to show you too later, but we'll make a couple of cards first. Um, I'm keeping my cards very simple for card and a cuppa. For any new customers or new stampers that want to sort of see how to do things and how easy things can be. Um, so we may just get the camera up into the holder and we can get started. So just bear with me while I put my camera up into the holder. There we go. I didn't... So that's, that's a bonus to start with. <laughs> I might need to put my lamp on and bring that over a little bit more and straighten it up a bit, I think. Am I straight? Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, so today I'm going to play with the leaves of holly or boughs of holly sweet. Um do a couple of cards where we just use mainly paper and die cuts, very little stamping. So these are the two cards we're going to re reproduce. We'll get them out of the plastic. There we go. But so really, really simple. Um, and just the stamping is the sentiment only. So it's a beautiful suite. Uh, let me find my catalogue. It's in the mini catalogue, this suite of products. And it's very traditional um, Christmas suite, which is always nice. Um, the thing I find is that we don't have snow at Christmas. So as much as I love the snowmen and snow and everything, it's just nice to have a real traditional Christmas set. And there it is. Okay, page 24 and 25 in your annual catalog, in your mini catalog. And this is the suite of products. So it's this beautiful stamp set, leaves of holly and the dies to match. You do get this ribbon. If you buy the whole suite, you get this um, natural woven ribbon and these bows, um, text, textural elements, which I think that's them. But you don't have to buy the whole suite. You can just buy the stamp set and dies or just the paper, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> and the designer series paper. So very traditional colours, cherry cobbler, real red, poppy parade, mossy meadow, evening evergreen and shaded spruce. Um, so it's a very traditional suite of products for Christmas. And I do like that. So that's what we're going to play with today. So I'll put that over there and not on top of this new kit I want to show you. So we'll get stamping. So we'll do the cherry cobbler one first. So I've got all my bits cut up. Hi, Nairi. Hi, Jenny. Thanks for joining. That's awesome. <laughs> so this is the one we're going to make. So I've got my cherry cobbler A5 card base and I've got my shaded spruce. Um, matting piece which I believe would be 10 by 9 by 14.4 because I've already pre-cut these a while ago I'm just no we've got 13.9 by 9.5 I've gone a little bit smaller um, so I get a little bit more cherry cobbler around the back and then this is the beautiful designer series paper in this suite of products with the poinsettias. 
and I'm going to use that side because that side's just a bit plain and spotty. <laughs> so let me just get my glue and attach it to my my layering piece. So the weather can't decide what to do here on the central coast. We haven't got rain yet, but they're predicting it. I've got a card class tomorrow and I was going to do, do my card class in my courtyard in the sunshine, <laughs> but I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to be an inside class tomorrow. So. There we go, we're just putting that onto our card base. So cards can be very simple, especially if you've got the beautiful designer series paper that we have on offer. Now, something I don't have, we might go that way this time, is my white panel to go underneath. But I do have this, and we might turn this die. Let me grab the dies and I'll show you. <clears throat> these are the dies in this suite so you've got all the holly leaves but this is one of the frame this is this frame so it cuts out the holly leaves and then you've got this piece if I can get it off the cardboard and that cuts out like the green or whatever color you want to put behind and then you just line it up with your die like so so that's one label in this set. The other label is the um, this little label piece. So that's really good label to have, and it coordinates perfectly with these two greetings, or with all the greetings. Now I haven't got my piece of white cut out, and I'm just wondering whether I might do a little bit of glimmer from the like the glow suite of products and I've got that nice white slash vanilla glimmer it's a bit wider than that but that doesn't matter so I'm going to go nine centimeters so as you can see you can mix and match and work things out as you go so I shall put that in there and when you're cutting glimmer it's always a really good idea to cut, oops, I'm just trying to get rid of a message on my laptop. There we go. No, definitely not the courtyard tomorrow, Nairi. Um, to cut your glimmer upside down. And that just protects your blade and makes your blade last a little bit longer. It's just a thought. Now that's not right. It's not going to be nine centimetres. It's going to be... Let's get my ruler. I thought I had everything prepared, and I don't. So it's going to be 13.4-ish. <laughs> Do you like my ish? That's a technical measurement. <laughs> there we go. So I will attach that as well. I might put it up higher and just make the card a little bit different. So you don't have to follow cards exactly. If you see a card on Pinterest, you can change it around a little bit, you know, turn it to the way you want it or put things up the top rather than down the bottom. I'm just going to make sure that that is straight. I believe it is. Yep, looks pretty straight to me. There we go. So that's the glimmer paper. Um, it's gold, evening, evergreen, and vanilla, or white. <laughs> um, and that's in the Lights of Glow suite of products in their mini catalogue. So then I'm going to put my thing like that, this label, not thing. And I might just put that. So... The best way to attach this, la this label um, had me guessing for a little bit <laughs> because 
you can see that this bit is quite loose and flimsy so I think the best way to attach this label is with glue and I like putting it on my little silicon mat um, and if you put your glue over here on the leaf that's the easiest way to put your green of the holly leaves behind okay so we're going to line it up as best we can so it doesn't completely match over the top and get that up before it sticks and see there's our backing of our holly leaves and then I'm just going to put glue because I like to put this um, sentiment piece down flat. So I'm going to put a bit more glue there because otherwise that edge piece flaps around in the breeze. And I think it could get um, broken if we don't treat it kindly. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop it. I'll centre it. Pop it there there we go I don't think I put glue under the leaves I didn't that was silly so a little bit of a fix it okay we'll get this silicon sheet out of the way and my little spongy glue now I'm going to bring this in and I've used Cherry Cobbler ink. I suppose that should really be cream, but I think we can get away with it because I'm going to use Cherry Cobbler ink, then I'm going to sort of cover over it with the um, blending brush. So I think I'll be able to wing it and get away with the white piece of cardstock. So it's best to have a paper piercing mat when you're stamping with photopolymer stamps. And that's not what you want on the bottom of your block at all, whatsoever. Okay. So, and it's great because you can see exactly what you're doing. And hopefully I got that straight. Yay. Okay, so I'll get that there. And now I'll get a scrap piece of paper. If I can find one. Here we go. This was my last year's calendar. I <laughs> just cut it up. Um, pinks. We don't want pinks. Dark reds. I'm a bit hesitant to put this into cherry cobbler because cherry cobbler can be very unfriendly. <laughs> So I'm just going to take the stark whiteness or the starkness of the white. Does that make more sense? Off my white piece of cardstock. And I'm only doing that because I went with the vanilla um, 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 glimmer paper. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Hi Lorraine, you're home before the rain sets in. Do you think I'm going to get a walk in with my Rosie? Um, probably not. <laughs> but you never know. We did get caught oh, the other week, I think it was, in the rain. Now this one I've just put down flat. And I think I might do the same. Or will I? No, I might put this one on dimensionals. Let's just be... <laughs> yeah, cherry cobbler is known for its unfriendliness. <laughs> it can be very unforgiving. <laughs> and so can um, Night of Navy sometimes, but cherry cobbler is, has been the most unfriendly to me. No, you're not, you don't think I'm going to get my um, walk in with my Rosie girl? Ah, oh, well, Rosie, you'll have to suck it up, darling. <laughs> now, I have got a bit of a 
yuckiness there so I might redo that later on but I'm going to get some bling now um, 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 now I think the iridescent rhinestones oh well they be too white because I put the vanilla hmm I think they might be well maybe not let's just do it far far away from the the, the cream glimmer paper these iridescent rhinestones the really big ones are very very big and I'm not sure if I like them so big <laughs> they're just really large um, 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 this is a medium size one so we'll put a medium one over here and a small one whoops and a small one I might put it here and yes I might redo that because I'm not quite Keep sending flood warnings. Oh, Lynn, I hope you don't, your garage doesn't flood again. See my little dribbles of ink there? I don't really like that, so I'll probably cut that off and do that again after the video, which is what you can do. And if you ever want to know how to cut um, dimensionals off, just get your paper snips and go in underneath and go snip. And underneath and go snip. And then you can get them off. One of the girls in my stamp club taught me that. And I thought that was a very useful little tip. So I shall get an insert. Yes, cherry cobbler has been known to cause grief to a lot of my ladies. Well, a few anyway. <laughs> and they're not very... They, they, they don't forgive cherry cobbler at all for a lot of things. <laughs> So I'm just going to put my insert in and my card insert is always 10 centimetres by 14.4. And there we go. And I'll tell you a secret, my card inserts is just um, Officeworks A4 cardboard, cardstock because I don't want to cut up stamping up cardstock for my inserts because it's too beautiful and you tend not to do a lot of stamping on your insert so I figure, you know what, Officeworks A4 card works for me for my inserts and then that saves my basic white stamp um, cardstock from stamping up it saves them, I can have, keep them for other things so that's that card. Now that was so simple, wasn't it? Using the papers. Yes, we use some die cuts, but if you don't have die, a die cut machine or dies, you can use punches. And if you don't have punches, you can just cut your cardstock up to the size of your sentiment stamp. So that looks quite different, even just putting the labels in different positions. So that's card number one. So we'll put that over here. Just as well, because now I've found card number two <laughs> so card we're making two cards today so this is card number two and it's still using the beautiful um let me just clean this stamp <laughs> um beautiful boughs of holly or leaves of holly designer series paper and if you've got the paper from any of the sweets you can make just gorgeous cards because the paper just, you know, lends itself to the whole crafting experience and creating beautiful cards. So you do, honestly, only need stamps, ink and paper. So that's my matting piece, which is 10 centimetres by 14.4. This piece is 6.5 centimetres by 13.9. And... What I've done is I've cut down the same piece. So if I wanted to, I could do it this way around this time. I'm just wondering whether I should. Just to show you how just using different paper can look. I think I will. Just to show you the difference by reversing the papers. So let's move our card base out of the way. <clears throat> Get our glue. 
don't think it's raining yet. Oh, raining's coming, my computer's telling me. <laughs> yeah, definitely in my class inside tomorrow. <laughs> well, that could have been a disaster averted. It's so hard putting glue on the side that you really prefer. <laughs> but it's nice to show the variation. So I'm obviously getting low on my glue because I'm shaking it like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> so because we had the um, public holiday on Monday. Hi, hi Cheryl. Um, did you get my message this morning, Cheryl? Um, I cut and prepared my class on Monday, which was such a good idea. Sometimes I have them. I surprise myself. Um, because on Wednesday on my day off, my daughter messaged me and said, Hey, Mum, what you doing? I'm not working today. Want to go out for lunch? I thought, hell yeah. <laughs> um... Because when Olivia was overseas in America for four years, that was what I really missed the most, was having our girly days. I'm really going to have to get another glue pot out. Um, so yeah, we met up for lunch. I had, had a bit of running around to do first. But then we met up for lunch and that was lovely. So that was nice. Because most of the time on my days off, Olivia's working and on her days off, I'm working. <laughs> So we can't get, seem to coordinate ourselves. Just grabbing another glue. <coughs> <coughs> yes, um, Mary, I do. Don't tell anybody, but I do get the um, the Office Works white cardstock for my inserts because I just don't. I suppose it wouldn't really matter if I used my my stamping up ones, but. I figure you're not stamping too much on an insert and um, I'd rather keep my white, I can't keep going to say whisper white, I think it'll always be whisper white to me but my basic white cardstock I like to try and keep for my stamping and not waste on inserts. <laughs> okay, so there you go, there's my forbidden secret out. <laughs> um, okay, so let me see which way we're going to do our holly leaves. So our holly leaves are in mossy meadow on this one because that's one of the colours in the paper. And then I've cut the berries out with the dies. So this is purely a die cut card except for the stamping of the sentiment. And I've cut this overlay of the berries in the gold um foil the it's from the textured sheet um products in the annual catalog so once again i'm going to put a bit of glue on my silicon sheet sheet <coughs> and i find this is the best way to ink up if you haven't not ink up glue if you haven't put adhesive sheet on the back of your um, cardstock that you're wanting to glue down I find this is the best way so I'm just going to place that I'll go up a little bit higher there we go just got to be careful not to put your cardstock over gluey areas that's all ask me how I know because <laughs> I've done stupid things Okay, so we're just going to, I might put that one going over the real red a little bit. There we go. Um, now I will attach this to my cherries or my berries. Because they actually are berries. Is it raining yet? <laughs> Rain is coming, Rosie. We're not going to get our walk in. Helps if you put your overlay the right way round. Look 
I've now got glue on my fingers and I can't seem to place it properly. Turn it over the right way, that also helps. There we go, a little bit of wiggling and we get it almost in the right spot. <laughs> and we shall get rid of that now because that can be messy. And we're going to put a dimensional or two on the back. Except my fingers are gluey now and now it's just being problematic. Okay, so I'm going to put these over here, and they're popped up on dimensionals. Now I put my two dimensionals on either side of those set of three berries because I wanted room to poke in my textural element. And that is best put in with a glue dot. I'm still looking out the window to see if it's raining. You know what will happen if we do get out for our walk. <laughs> It'll come pouring down whilst we're out. Yeah, I even bought Rosie a little raincoat from Kmart. But I got the size small and it's too small. <laughs> so I have to take it back. Because it's too small. This glue dot's not cooperating. Okay. Now you can um, colour these with your blends. But I don't want to do that today. I just want to place that in there and I might get another glue dot and put it get off put it under this one here just so it's a little bit more secure there we go now we've got a little white um, sentiment piece we'll get rid of cherry cobbler because we know how much that can be a problem and we've got soft succulent. And we'll get the season's greetings for this one. And I'll grab my little thing. Light rain here in Hamlin Terrace in 30 minutes according to my rain report. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'll have to see how I go. <laughs> Maybe I should just give it a bit, give away the, a, a nice thought to go for a walk with my puppy girl. Okay, so I hope my head didn't come in. It did, sorry. There we go. Oh, I re-inked my soft succulent the other day and it's much better. Okay, so we'll bring this back in <clears throat> and I'll put that up on dimensionals. <sighs> so I've got a class tomorrow it's a emboss resist class and I've got a full class six people coming so that's not oh look what I've gone and done I've gone and bloomin well smudged it well that's another one I'm going to have to redo after I finish the video that's because I'm rushing Note to self, don't rush. And I'll put soft succulent ribbon on this one, on that one. And it will probably show up better on this one. So this is the beautiful in colour soft succulent ribbon that they carried over. They don't normally do that. Um, but they carried it over. So we've got a second year of this lovely ribbon. And all the colours are lovely. I'll be sad to see those in colours retire because I like them. I'm not as keen on the in colours this year, but that's just me. I'm not really a bright and bold person. The bright in the brights family is it called the brights? <laughs> I think it's called the brights. The bright colour family is not. Are, are colours I don't use frequently, but I'm trying to, you know, live outside my comfort zone and start using colours that I'm not so comfortable with. Trying. 
don't know if I'm succeeding, but I'm trying. <laughs> okay, so except for my sentiments that I have to redo. Oh, goodness. That's our finished card. So I didn't put any bling on this one because of we've got an textural element on it. That's hard to say. Um, and now that's just exactly the same card. I've just reversed the papers. So, but they look, they still both look good. And then this is my other one. So when I redo this, I might even cut a cream piece of cardstock out for that one because, yeah, I think that would look better. So that's a card and a cuppa today. I didn't even have my cuppa. <laughs> Honestly, I'm all over the show. Um, but uh, before I go, I do want to show you the birthday card kit that arrived yesterday in the mail. So I shall pop this just back in here so I don't lose anything. And I shall put that there. So this is the new kit that was available from the 4th of October. And they're saying it's while supplies last, which I'm a bit shocked about that because I think they need to keep this kit forever. Ah, oh, thanks, Nairi. Um, oh, they're my cards I made from my morning this morning, so we'll put those aside. So this is the birthday card organiser kit. So you get the organiser booklet and you get the makings of 12 cards, one notebook, 12 cards to start you off. So you get some tear and tape, you get some bling and dimensionals and the glue dots. And I think I told you last time, I hate those glue dots. I use my own. <laughs> um, and these are the envelopes. So they're nice. They're patterned on the inside. These are the card bases. So we've got spots and plaid. And then these are, so there's no stamping. It's all just pop outs and glue down. And they're the tags for your booklet. So you've got, it's your day. And it's all in other languages as well. Not much point if you can't read that language though. <laughs> um, and happy birthday, happiest birthday, but this is the booklet. So it's, I think it's very Abigail Rose-ish, if that's a phrase. And it's quite, quite solid and quite big. It's not A5 size, it's bigger than A5. Um, and let me see if it tells you what size the album is. It's eight by no, nah, it's not eight by ten. Sure. Um, 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 um. I don't know if it tells you the size of the album. Let's just get our big ruler out. You know what? It's eight by ten. <laughs> it's eight by ten. <laughs> For those that don't know, <laughs> like moi. <laughs> and then you've got these stickers that go here like for the month of January let's find the one we use February and then you've got the dates of, and you can write down person's date like this will be January so my brother's birthday is on the 12th of January so I will write Ian Ian's birthday I do it in pencil <laughs> um, Although, I, I'd still send him a card anyway. I won't rub him out. <laughs> and then you've got all these 12 cards to make and pop in in here. See? February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. And each page has got a pocket. I know I got it quick, Lorraine. I did order it on the free shipping day. <laughs> um, do you remember making one of these, Lorraine, in Stamp Club with me many, many, many moons ago? <laughs> 
Um, and I bought a spiral binding machine so I could bind them all for you. I've got a spiral binding machine for sale if anybody wants one. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the birthday, ca um, birthday card organizer kit. It's $44, which I think is a, a bargain. There's no stamping. It's all stickers and pop-outs. And you get 12 cards to make and put in it. I think it would be a super Christmas gift for somebody. So I look forward to making some of those up and being able to show them to you later. So, awesome. If you still have it, I think I've still got a few in my cupboard too, Lorraine. <laughs> So, if anybody wants to, oh, where do I put this? Oops, tear and tape, put it back in. If anybody wants to place an order with me this month, that's my host code. Go to my online shop through stampingpassion.blogspot.com and you can place your order with me online. If you place an order of $50 or more, you will receive this class this month. Uh, these three cards using the Lights of Glow Suite. So you'll get the supplies for these three cards and I'll send you a link to a video um, to show you how to put them together. And I think that's all I've got for you today, girls. I think I might have gone over time, although I started later, so I don't know what time I, how long I've been on. But these are my two cards for today. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please have a safe weekend. Um, keep dry if you can and safe. And I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you on Monday for my Make It Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.